Thinking back to last year, how everything went, what did you learn about yourself as a coach throughout the entire season? A lot of times you talk to your team about daily habits and staying the course and, and working hard. And uh, what I learned about myself and our team last year was that that was really true and, and something that we stayed with consistently uh, through the season. There was definitely swings for our team. We lost three games in a row. We lost four games in a row, but we were able to continue those work habits and, and building our trust, our unity uh, through those experiences, and it made us stronger as a group. Where uh, I believe we were playing our best basketball at the end of the season because our guys did such a great job of focusing on those daily habits each and every day. Yeah. The turnaround you were able to kind of you know, construct here, what were some of the challenges of that? Just getting guys to buy in, hey, trust this process, I promise you it will play out. You know, it did, but what were the challenges in trying to, uh, or, or were there any, or was it easy for you to get the guys to kind of buy in and know that they can turn this around with you? Well, having been at Iowa State for a number of years where we've had success and tremendous pride I have in the program, I wanted the guys to know how important it was to me, how invested I was in that process. And it's certainly going to be a challenge when you have a new coach and you bring in a lot of new players that hadn't been there before, or you have players on the roster that uh, they're playing uh, for a coach that they didn't sign up for. So you're trying to blend that group together. And instead of looking at the differences and the challenges, find the commonalities, find what we can do to accentuate each other's strength. And uh, really fortunate, the character of our group and the work ethic those guys had every single day. And they started to believe and their confidence grew with each win that we got uh, early in that season. And we went to that Barclays Center and, and beat Xavier and, and beat Memphis. Our guys' confidence was really at a high point And we started to realize what we could accomplish as a group. How much does it help having guys back who saw that process play out, were a part of that, and having them be leaders um, for the young guys coming in this year? Yeah, it's very helpful to have those four guys from last year with Gabe Kelsher, uh, Robert Jones, Jazz Kunch, Caleb Grill. Uh, you know, we experienced some great times together last season through a lot of hard work each and every single day. And so now those guys can carry forward the message, uh, whether it's our freshmen or the new transfers, that you know this process will work. If you stay committed to it and you play for each other and you keep investing in one another, that over time things will go our way. And they've lived it every single day. So now they can they pass that message on and help lead that charge uh, with the new guys on our team. Yeah, I imagine when you get that taste of success, when you make it to the tournament, to the Sweet 16, and so, um, there's a hunger for more, especially when you experience a loss at that level. It, it kind of hits different. Do you think this group, at least the guys that experienced it before, are carrying that into the season and kind of using that as motivation as we know where we want to get to and that we could possibly get further? Yeah, we certainly hope so. I mean, there's nothing like playing in the NCAA tournament, so you want to work every single day to control what you can and put yourself in position to be able to play in it. Uh, once you know when March Madness hits, anything can happen. Anybody can beat anyone in a one-game format. And so for us, we try to focus on each day. If we stack days on top of each other uh, of hard work, of giving everything that we have and invest in one another, that we can put ourselves in position to be playing in the NCAA tournament. And from there, it's anything can happen. What excites you most about this year's group? What I like about this year's group is their unity, their connectedness. They spend a lot of time together. We eat breakfast together every day. They eat dinner together every night. Uh, they're really into playing pool uh, with one another uh, at our dining hall. We're really fortunate at the Stark Performance Center that they like to have pool and talk some trash and spend time there. But uh, our guys do a great job off the court investing that additional time in one another. Uh, Jaron Holmes, Gabe Kelsher do a great job leading and get, keeping our guys together and making sure they're spending time investing in one another.